A newly unsealed court documents reveal stunning new details in the deadly shooting in Des Moines that left two teenagers dead. We're learning the motive behind why a gunman opened fire inside starts right here and how it can be traced back to an officer involved shooting in Des Moines. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us live to untangle this web of new information. Mary. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, in this 30 plus page search warrant application, detectives lay out extensive details on the gang war that they say has been escalating since November of 2021 between the Strap Gang and Only My Brothers Gang or OMB Gang. Now, detectives claim that the two uh, suspects belonged to the Strap Gang while the two teenage victims to OMB. And in this extensive report, officers lay out a number of things they believe led up to the shooting here. It starts right here, including a music video. Long before two teens were shot and killed, inside starts right here in Des Moines. Police say tensions between two gangs, the suspects and victims belong to, were escalating. This is a rivalry that's been going on since November 21, and the history of these gangs that reaches all the way back 20 years. In a search warrant application, detectives lay out evidence tying suspects Bravon Tukes and Preston Walls to the Strap Gang. Also claiming victim Rashad Carr was a prominent rapper and member in the OMB gang, along with fellow victim Gianni Dameron. The term in our industry for this type of gang activity is hybrid gang activity, where they might take um, some, some tips from some nationally known gangs, they might try and replicate what they see, but these are our community's kids. But to understand what brought us to the deadly shooting, it starts right here. We have to back up to an officer involved shooting December 26, 2022. The 16 year old who was killed by police is the half brother of Tukes, according to court records. Three weeks after he's killed, detectives say this video was released by OMB gang members. Carr is rapping in it while Dameron can be seen throughout the video. Officers describe this video as extremely disrespectful to the strap gang as it calls out members who've been attacked or killed. At one point, Carr raps that one boy died on Christmas. What police believe is a reference to the death of Tuke's half brother. And then this video that they made mocking these these homicides, you know, throwing insults at their dead gang members. That seems to be what pushed it over the edge for some of these folks. And this was their response to that. One week after the video was posted, officers say this tension reached a deadly end. When Walls walked in to starts right here, shooting and killing both Carr and Dameron and wounding founder Will Keeps. Now, police say that Tukes was in communication with Walls on the morning of the shooting here, driving him away from the scene. It also shares that at the time of the shooting, Walls was on a pretrial uh, release supervision, something that required him to wear a court ordered GPS device on his ankle, something this report claims that he cut off approximately 16 minutes before he started shooting here. Reporting live in Des Moines, I'm Mary Sugden for Local 5 News. Stephanie, back to you in the studio.